Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Fee the Batosai. We have several things to do today, uh, most of which relate to continuing with our lava as a power source dealio. So, I have 200 MBs of melted redstone, and we're going to use that to make some more conduit. And to make conduit, uh, it is hardened glass and two electrum. And I'm going to let that guy fill up while we make some other stuff. Cool. Uh, I also need to make some more liquid ducts. That was two copper and one hardened glass. And I think we're going to make something similar to this setup right here. Uh, I finished this tank, by the way, and I removed the chunk loader just for right now. I don't want things running if they don't have to be running. Let's see, they should go in, should go in right here. Uh, let's see if we can put it, well, let's see what that looks like first. And then see if I can go up with them. So the magmatic engines are pretty straightforward. They require invar, pistons, uh, redstone transmission coils, which are silver and two redstone and invar gears which are pretty easy to use they are pretty easy to make they are uh, iron surrounded by invar and invar if you remember is two iron dust and one silver dust so we're gonna make three engines I think that should be enough for right now there you go magmatic engines all the engines are pretty much in the same configuration So, so. cool yeah, they're mostly in the same configuration, the only thing that changes is the material that you use to make them with. So, we're going to put our engines right here. Uh, let me see if I can move a back one just to make it look a little bit nicer. Don't have my wrench. Let's get my wrench real quick. And just shift right clicking on it makes it go away quicker. Let's go here. Uh, Alright, let's let set up uh, the wire first and see if it'll connect that way. It does, very good. Like that. Let's get this going. And we just need to give this a redstone signal, so let's make a switch or a lever. Are these not filling up? Why? Are, why are you not filling up? Oh, there we go. Um, want you to go the other way. How much? All right, we didn't waste that much lava. Well, let me go get the redstone coil and charge it up with what that was pumping out. Uh, we're gonna have to make it one block further away, so I was mistaken. Otherwise, it uh, we cannot get the pump to pump how we want it to. So let's do that real quick. Should charge this guy up. Uh, Alright, let me wait for this and I'll be right back. Eh, it's going too slow and I'm super impatient. Sorry, guy. Let's go there with this. Let's go. Oh man, we might not have enough. Two. Oh, we do. Okay. I was gonna say we should be using like the same amount that we made. Uh, let's go with these engines here, like that. So these need to be outputs. So pretty sure this is how it works. 
and then blue is an input so we want it to go into this and then these need to go these need to accept fuel and this needs to take it out I think this should work oh no it's the other way around these need to be like that Yep, and it's filling up, and then this should be getting a lot more power now. Yep, there you go. It's powering everything up, which is awesome. So I'm going to let this guy run. Uh, these engines are pretty good at maintaining a lot of things. Uh, I think they they can store a lot of energy, and then they like kind of self-regulate if they uh, go over, so they won't overheat and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so I'll turn that pump off for right now, and hopefully this stops it. suppose I could just do that, but... Yeah, we're going to let these guys go and see how much we get from... It was around 10,000 units of lava, so 10 buckets of lava. So, be back with you guys when this is charged up, and we'll probably plop it on this guy. Alright, just for the sake of video, I have stopped at just over a hundred thousand. I wanna get I wanna get like some of this ready for you guys, that's why I'm doing this. Uh right now I'm only outputting at five. I don't know if it changes when you should still say yeah, it should still say five. Let's put that there. Let's output it at ten. And I wonder what needs to... Oh, right, this needs to be an output. So I filled these up with fermenters, or uh, with uh, fertilizer and plant balls and saplings. So we're going to click this guy, let it drain its power out, let these run, and it's going to start creating biomass. So we have roughly 3,000. I'm going to let this drain. Could probably go up a little bit. I think it just makes it run quicker. Yeah, let's just leave it at 20. We were at 3,000. And then let me show you what the tree farm has been doing. It's been producing a lot of stuff. It's pretty ridiculous. So, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, I guess I don't mind giving it uh, coal coke. Oh, wow, nice. For a fuel supply, I'm glad that it can take it versus just regular like coal or charcoal. But uh, yeah, we're like pretty much not in need of wood anymore, or saplings for that matter. Uh, I, I suppose if I get more f more fermenters running, so maybe like more than three, then it would make a difference. But I don't think it does for right now. Kind of want to let this guy swamp it up to f thirty. What does thirty do? Does it make it that much faster, or is it just pumping out? At some point there has to be like a cap at how much this thing can take. Let's leave it at 30 for right now. So this one isn't making saplings, so it won't be producing 0.8 of a bucket. It'll be producing something a little bit lower. Uh, I'm just going to burn through what I have left. Uh, I don't know what this is going to be. This might be apple juice. Uh, it really, really depends. I just don't know what I want to do with it. Uh, right now in our tank we have 8,000 creosote. This tank might be moved at a later date, just purely because it's not super necessary, I guess. Um, these have just have put a control redstone control signal on them. And I should try to make another uh, redstone energy cell, but... Uh, so, energy cell, energy. I'm trying to remember if they were like difficult to make. They're not super difficult to make, so I could make another one. But that is probably going to be something I do off camera. Man, I can't. We're all right. We're getting there. Let's see how our regular power is doing. Um, so I'm curious, I'm gonna have another, I'm gonna make another liquid tesseract, and I'm curious if you can use the same frequency on three tesseracts. So I'll pop, oh nice, we're doing good. I'll probably, 
uh, run like I was talking about. Apparently, if you hook up a generator to some cable like this, it outputs power. So we could put like an MFSU right here and then put lava in here and have it go. So basically what we're going to end up doing is piping lava from a tank into like a, a few rows of generators and that'll create power for what I'm going to call this storage unit over here. So instead of this, we're going to have a lava setup. So instead of solar panels, we're going to have a lava setup. Um, I don't know how so right now, but that's the uh, that's the plan, I guess. That's my thoughts on the, the matter at the moment. So let's see how this guy is done. Are you empty now? They are empty now. So remember we were at 3,000 and now we're at 65,000. So this thing, pretty efficient and it's kind of amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna let this actually charge up all the way and give it a full uh, full charge and then let this run and then replace where I need to. So pretty sweet. But yeah, I don't know, uh, I'll have to look at what else we're going to do for this episode uh, and then I will be back with you guys momentarily. S straight on this way to straight on that way. That way I can have another valve on the side. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lose all this lava. How much do we have? Right, we pretty old. we got a lot. Uh, I guess I'm gonna make an <laughs> man. There's a lot of a lot of stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I guess I'm gonna make another redstone energy cell. Charge it up all the way with this lava. Recharge this guy. Let this one finish. So we're about halfway, and we produced about a hundred, just under a hundred thousand. So we won't peak. We shouldn't peek with this. Yeah, no, it should be okay. Uh, yeah, let me. Yeah, I'm gonna do this all off camera. Hope you guys don't mind. Uh, get a redstone energy cell made. Get the redstone transfused into it. Get all this lava pumping into these engines, or and then powering those and blah 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 blah, so that I can finally move this guy. I will be back in probably quite some time. I lied. I'm. I am gonna do that, and I'm gonna do it off camera, but. I need a little bit more value, not a valuable, a little bit more renewable source of food. So we are going to make a Steve's Carts farm using wheat. Uh, this guy is just super overwhelmed. Uh, he's just not getting a break. I don't even know what he's doing right now. Are you just out of fuel, friend? You are out of fuel. Does the cart manager not have any? Dang. This thing uses up a lot more uh, coal coke than I thought, but it's probably just because I've been AFKing. Let's go, uh, let's just keep it on us right now, and I'll just give them one to clear the rest of this stuff out. But this farm is getting, like, super obnoxiously overpowering. <laughs> it's like growing the most ridiculous trees, too. I love it. Look at this thing. Like, those trees don't even, like, naturally spawn. There's one over there. Alright, but I digress. Let's work on... Steve's cards, Steve's cards, Steve's cards. I'm gonna have to make the rails, I'll make the rails off camera, not a big deal. Uh, so we're gonna do the basic setup. We are gonna do the standard hole. Actually, yeah. Uh, let me get... Yeah, let me get all this, these materials and I'll be right back. Maybe I'll do some of this on camera with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go with the regular solar engine because I'm hoping it's instead of the basic because I'm hoping it's gonna store energy. But uh, let's make one, two, three, four. I don't want to use all of this up right now. I don't have that much glowstone left. That is all I have left for glowstone. Should have. I don't have those materials, actually. So two. Let's just make four. Uh, see what else? Getting super lazy. <laughs> we just need one of these for right now. We have this. We don't have pistons. Do we have anything to make pistons on us? We do. Holy crap. This is awesome. The ultimate laziness of lazinesses. 
Alright, let's just go with... Boom, there it is, solar engine. Man. I'm amazing. I know, it's okay. Um, then we gotta put our coal engine in. I think we just did a regular coal engine. We did. Gonna do this again, cause I'm lazy. Oh, I didn't shift click it. Eh. Shift click. One, two. Uh, shift click. Shift click. Oh, you gotta clear it out first. That's unfortunate. I think I should have everything now. I do shift click. There is our coal engine. Man, where shortcuts are probably the greatest thing in the world. Um, we just need to make another fertilizer, which I don't have all the materials for. Fertilizer. So it ferts. Uh, la, zer. It is better that we do put this in the first time, just so we don't have to add on to it. So just uh, for reference, we have a PCB on us. Two bone meal, two glass, and three. Don't have any. We have glass. We don't have regular glass. One, two, three. Do you still make uh, water bottles in the shape of a bucket, or does it have to be four? Let's see. But let's get. Uh, what did I need out here? I needed something that is always out here. What is out here? Oh, leather. La da la da la da. One, two, three. And then glass water bottles we have. Bone meal I also need. Let's go one. I feel like you can macerate this maybe and get more bone meal. Let's check. You can pulverize it and get six or macerate it and get five. We should just start doing that. That way we have a, uh, a better layout for getting stuff for these fertilizers. Let's go and do this. Okay, let's macerate it real quick. Go, my friend, go. Dang it. Oh, good, it is that way. Very nice. Uh, tree friend. No, that's not right. That's not right. There we go. Let's get rid of some of our junk in our inventory. And I'm using up saplings like pretty crazily. And I haven't checked on the biomass thingy in a while, so let's check to make sure it's not just draining random power. We'll just go down right here. And the mouse is just freaking out. Okay, so it seems that it has stopped itself, and it's produced almost 400,000. Very awesome. I'm glad this works. I'm so glad that you work, my friend. Fill these engines up, let them run. Cool. Yeah, still gonna do that off camera, but I have not. I just wanted to let it go. I should have everything to make that now. Shift click, I do, there it is. Fertilizer, do we have everything? We need our farmer, our hole, our coal, our solar engine. Let me look at something real quick to make sure we are all good. Oh, we need side chests. That is correct. All right, side chests, where you is. I just don't remember how to make you side chests. Huge chests. Okay, so we got to get all that junk in my junk. I don't even know why I have all this junk junk with me. Alright, let's see. We have the two large, two chests, we need a chest lock, like that, and then we just need the huge panes, right? So four huge panes. Alright, that should be easy. So like that, like that, like that. There's also something called, I think it's called internal, internal chest, internal storage. Uh, 
I'm just gonna throw one on here just because I have all the, the resources because I'm kind of curious what it does, but I don't know if it is absolutely necessary. And it's gonna make our, our build costs a little bit longer. So this is the standard hole stuff and then this is the farmer stuff. Let's do that. Show you that right now. So the farmer uses three diamond. It's not too bad for an automated, automated farm, but who knows, it could be worse. Let's get our standard hole going. Go to our cart assembler. We got our side chests. Oh, where is our cart? Standard cart. Side chests. Internal storage. I wonder if that's how many uh, coal it takes. Tool is a farmer. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? I'm missing a lot. Where did it go? Engines. Did I not grab them? I didn't. Alright, coal engine, solar engine, fertilizer, and that's it. This thing is going to be badass. Assembler is currently idle. Let's just get a stack. Stack of coal. If it takes more than a stack, I'm gonna kill somebody, but that's cool. And oh man, it's gonna take like half an hour, Jesus. Are we done with everything? Does this not go into add-ons? It does not. I bet you it's gonna take 109 coal. Hmm. Oh well, this is going to be the the most badass cart ever. Assemble! Alright, that's going to be a while. Let's check on our Dudamith thingajigger. These engines are doing well. Got tons of biomass. I got to figure out a way to convert biomass to biofuel, but we can run everything off of those biogas engines. I just don't like using bronze. I think bronze is a terrible metal because you have to use so many resources, mainly copper, which I have none of. So, yeah. Let me see where we are with time, and I will be back. Probably when this guy is done. Yeah, probably when this guy is done. See you in a minute. I guess while we can wait, we while we wait, we can start to make our railroad ties and things of that nature. And we... Oh, I didn't know you could just right-click on them. That's awesome. Look at that, learning something new every day. Let's do, we need four. I already uh, did the rolling machine version of it. I don't know what I meant by that, but you know what I'm saying. Wait, what is that? Wooden post, that's cool. Rail bed, rail. I'm gonna most likely set it up in the same configuration uh, I don't know if that's going to be the appropriate configuration for it, but that's what I'm going to do until someone tells me otherwise. So take that, system. Let's put it next to our tree farm, which means we need to clear out all these trees. Luckily, this guy should have our cold coke on us. We do. Luckily, this guy's been clearing out the leaves for these trees, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I guess it just determines any leaves with leaves within the vicinity uh, of that specific tree, because it didn't take these uh, these rubber trees. I don't know if these can act as the same as the regular rubber trees. That I'm not sure, but it produces rubber. I think it's actually just called rubber. Let's check. Yeah, it produces rubber, which can be used to make torches, sticky pistons, and rubber bars. I don't know what you can use rubber bars for. Empty syringe, conveyor belt, and you can smelt it to make raw plastic. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about it. I've just been saving it. But yeah, let's set up our track 
in a similar pattern. That uh, goes in the other chest right here. Uh, I don't want any saplings yet. All right. And then have one row of water here, and then maybe water around it, I guess, or just every one row of water in the middle should do just fine. Let's start it here. Four. Is it five now? Three, four, five. It is. I don't have my crowbar with me, so this should be all right. Yep, there we go. Just flowers out of here. Yeah, this should water up to, I think, five blocks away, if I'm not mistaken. Ultra tedious. Let's get some water. Uh, I'm stuck in the water. And voila. Uh, I don't know if the dude will till the soil. It, the farmer should till the soil. That makes sense. I, I mean, that makes sense, but we'll see. It's still going to take, like, what? Like, 15 minutes. Uh, wow. That was, a good, that was a good call. All right, I'll be back. It's almost done. Oh, it took 64 and one coal. I guess that's not too horrendous. But I have just enough time to show you guys. There it is. I wonder if you can name these in anvils. That would be so ridiculous. Oh man, I just have a an army of like automated carts for friends. Oh, you can name them. Oh. Uh, what do you have to give it though? All right, can I just change this? Oh man, that's so awesome. All right, we're doing that. I just gotta think of some awesome names, or maybe you guys can suggest some awesome names. That would be amazing. This thing is large. I moved it one block over. Uh, I guess you need seeds, don't you, friend? You are tilling everything. That's good. Shouldn't it? It shouldn't stop at the detector, should it? Alright, I guess I'll have to wait on that. Wait on putting this down. Can you not do it with that? What the heck? That's really weird. I'll wait on that. Let's get the rest of my seeds. Got 50 seeds. And we're gonna get some from this wheat right here. But the reason I had that there was because I was gonna make a cargo manager. Man, it's water spring. Uh, yeah, I was gonna make a cargo manager. But uh, I don't wanna make it right now just because uh, I don't wanna stretch this time out. I'm actually trying to be a little bit more uh, accurate with episode timings and things like that. So every time I record a clip, I put it into my editing software and then let it go and then go until I basically have no time. So let's get this guy going. Let's get some sleep. I thought it was I thought it was night, but it wasn't. So don't don't mind that. Uh, let's see, you're gonna go, yeah, you need fertilizer, let's get at least, uh, like, I don't want to use up all my bones, let's just use five, so that'll get it, like, 25 fertilizer. The only thing, I might need to move it further over, because does this block its solar? It doesn't block its power, that's good. Let's macerate these things real quick. And we'll wait. We'll just wait for them. Actually, they're taking forever. We're not gonna wait. Uh, let's see. Are you gonna start planting things? No, because I didn't give you anything to do, did I? Uh, seeds. 
There you go, friend. So with this one, I do want to keep it fertilized, otherwise it won't be really producing at a rate that's much larger than what I was originally doing. It would just be a larger farm. So, let's see. Oh, fertilized to the point where I can. Uh, I don't have a awesome... I don't have a, a large supply of bones, which we might end up doing soul shards and then creating uh, individualized uh, mob spawning systems, uh, but that won't be for a little while, that's like uh, something I don't want to tackle at the moment, and I don't even know how to go about actually getting the... Uh, it does look like it's saving power. Yeah, it does look like it's saving power. That's good. That's what we wanted. I don't know how about go how to go about getting the actual souls if you just have to have the shard with you and whatnot like that. So, but let's hope this guy plants and then on its second way through. Shouldn't yeah, it shouldn't be fertilizing right now until everything's planted. I don't know if this is the most efficient. What are you doing, guy? Are you out of seeds? You are out of seeds, dang. Hmm, I wonder if he's... He must be fertilizing, it must be just taking really long. So that was at 107. Yeah, so it's fertilizing, it's just taking a little while. Uh, let's see if we can break up some more stuff and get some more seats for our friend. Yeah, I pretty much destroyed all of them when I was trying to do that seed oil thing. But, alright. Uh, using this up pretty quickly. I, I kind of wish I made this the regular solar engine. Uh, come to think of it now, because this guy is like a boss, and he's not using cold coke. But we learned from our mistake for sure. Um, yeah, this guy's dead again. He's just getting super overwhelmed. Let's give you. I don't even want to give you that money, to be honest. Let's give you two. But as you can see, this is going to work well. Hopefully this is going to be enough water. It looks like this stuff is getting hydrated. This is my only concern, but it looks like it's also hydrated. So cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this an end to the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, I enjoy making it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.